Yo Yoink! <laughs> cool. Here you go. I have no soul. Yes, you do. I have no yes, soul. you do. I yes, you do. You have a programming core. Congratulations, it's mine now. Thank you. I've been over this. Everybody has a soul. Some are just a little more unorthodox than others. Yeah. Yeah. Even Aaron and Ink. One of the bigger things of Ink is he doesn't have a soul. That's all he has to buy. I'm going to shut down a shit load of more of the in a second. Bah, ah, but he still has an equivalent. Wow. Okay, so I, I, I feel there's need for a little bit of clarification. Actually, with the whole soul steal for 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 Chunkara, right? It's not really a soul in the traditional sense of the way you really think about it. This is more of like the core of who you are, right? Which generally, for most humans and people, is considered you know their soul, right? This governs, like, their thoughts, this governs their feelings, their ideals, their goals, their fears, all that so, stuff. Kind of, yeah. That, that, that's actually probably the most accurate way I've heard it described. Yeah. So, when, when I'm doing this to you, I'm not, like, stealing your soul, I'm stealing your person. Basically. You're stealing the people that I surround. Well, 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 the whole idea is I'm stealing everything that makes you you, right? Which includes your, again, your, your powers, your thoughts, your fears, your goals. Everything that makes your personality who you are is, is what this is. And that's included in regular people. That's included in uh, biomechanical androids, right? They have like a programming kind of center that governs like what their processes are able to do. That's what this is for them. Uh, some kind of like energy being from another dimension. This is yeah. demons have it too. If if you if you aren't just a puppet governed by somebody else and you have some sort of like intelligence of your own, this will work on you, right? Because that's what this is. Like like ink like like ink sands for example or error sands rather. He wants to destroy all the other AUs, right? That's a trait that makes him who he is. So if I steal this, it's not a soul, so to speak, but this no, th this is really his determination to do all that, right? Like the, yeah, the so he wouldn't want to destroy things anymore. He wouldn't even really know who he is. He'd just know that he's yeah, a, like what he sees, right? He's a skeleton, that's really all. He might not even really know what a skeleton is. It kind of it kind of varies, like the, the effects it has on whatever's left. Like the husk, you could say. Because technically you're still you, but again, your personality and everything of you okay, is in no. this. So. Go on. Yeah. Okay, now that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> again, it's, it's just a lot easier to be like, oh, I've got your soul. It's a much shorter explanation. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> it's a lot easier than going through like the five minute rundown I just did. <laughs> I have two of you. I have two of you. You have two of me? Literally. No, you don't. Yes, because they both... Yeah, because one of my friends says my show all the time. So, yeah, I do. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, funny thing is I've been able to kill that other you. Playing at times. I can definitely... Oh, oh, there's, there's no issue with killing me. It's keeping me dead that's the problem. I tell this to people all the time too. Oh, I, I'm killable by a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, defeatable is another story. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Keep, well, well, not even necessarily keeping me dead, but like fully defeating me. There, there's other ways to win other than just killing your opponent. Like, like in my ex in my example from the from the Halloween special from both two years ago and from last yeah. year, uh, Chunkari is weak to sealing, right? Sealing techniques work very well on Chunkari. 
So if you if like use magic to seal him in, in into like an object or seal him in hell or something, he's very susceptible to that shit. <laughs> Not, it, it, it's not like a kryptonite to him like it would be to some other demons, but if you're able to, like, work on sealing him consistently for a while, he'll succumb to it. You know what I mean? So then, sealing him into someone else's body would work as well. <laughs> this one. Say that again? Can you locate me to the nearest portal to hell? Uh, sealing you, or sealing you in another body would work. Um, it could, but that wouldn't work out very well for whoever's body I got sealed in. Yeah, um, you, uh, you familiar with Diablo at all? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the fucking stranger? Yeah, dude. <laughs> when Diablo's, like, when he, like, absorbed the soul of, God, of Diablo within him and then he just became Diablo after, yeah, that's literally... <laughs> you don't want to seal him inside a person. That's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. At least in that scenario. At least in that scenario. Yeah. What about what about just straight up deleting you from existence? So you can do that, but you can't delete my files, like Monica, for example. So I could always just come back. Mm -hmm. See, Monica is one of the very few people in fiction that I would be legit afraid to fight with either of my cars, <laughs> because she could just oh okay let me just tamp she she she's basically Kniffy, right? Let me just tamper with the values of things behind the scenes. <laughs> so, a, a, a fight a fight between like a fight between like penultimate of strength Viertel Kara and then Monica would probably be like what happened between Chuck Norris and Sega de Sanchiro. The fight would just never fucking end. They'd be hacking each other to fucking end of time. So, <laughs> so the Battle of Hackers, it, except that it's just a live stream that goes on years on yep. out. In, in, in fact, I'm planning to do a, uh, I'm planning to do a fucking, uh, hello Dev Gamer, how are you? I'm planning to do a death battle series on the channel at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later. Oh, God. We will cover Kara versus Monica, and assuming I don't find out some crazy shit in the research, that's how it's going to end. <laughs> Just spoilers. <laughs> I mean, if, 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 there, if there was some sort of way to balance uh, your Kara and Fiertail Kara, then... Well... So, VRTL car is not balanceable. That's kind of the whole purpose of why he was made. He was made to be like the penultimate strongest character, just fucking regardless. <laughs> he, he, he's like Saitama. He's an OP character that shuts down OP characters, basically. So, so, so you, just, you just can't nerf it no matter what. Kind of. Kind of. Boop. <laughs> This one. Mm. Boop. Boop. Mm. But yeah, freaking. Um, I swear to God. I think it'll be probably by the end of like season, probably season two of the Tale when VR Tale Carl will get about as strong as he's ever gonna get. So we've got a we've got a, we've got a good long ways to go. <laughs> we've got a long ways to go. Anyway, I still have to connect you on Discord about my character. Yeah. God, that is. That is scary to look at. Some somebody should take a screenshot and send it to you. This blue glow literally it literally covers your whole face. It literally covers your entire face. It's very scary. Again, again, you again, again, you know, you know that anime meme with the guy with the with the glasses, and then the glasses have like the super white glare on them. It's like that, but dialed up to fucking eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might, re I might rewrite that Kyoto's list one because th this one. Yeah, hey, go for it. Why is everybody so tiny? Because you're fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> this guy! <laughs> You're massive! 